Hey everyone and welcome to one of my absolute favorite features of OpenBOM for Fusion 360. Using OpenBOM to change property values and send them back to Fusion. That includes part number, description, um, so let's get started. We're going to focus in on this chair base uh, item right here and let's take a look at the properties. We see that Fusion automatically gives the part number the value of, of, the, of the name and, um, and the description is blank. So while I, I want to make some changes to those, I could go through and open the property dialog for each one of these things and make those changes. And it's certainly possible, just, just maybe not the best use of my time. So since I have a bill of material created uh, for this design already, I'm going to use the locate button and open that bill of material in Fusion. And we're going to get that bomb on the screen and we're, get, we're going to focus right in on this thing called chair base. Now, I, I want you to really kind of pay attention here. These other properties can be edited in the grid. For example, I could you know, type in some new values here um, for description and other things, no problem. The one exception to that is part number. If I want to change the part number, I need to use the part number editing tool. And how I, how I got to that was I selected the line, I chose the item information up here, and a dialog appears. And this brings me down to part number. And let me give you a little background. The reason behind that is we don't know if you are, if you were to type that value in over here, I frankly don't know if you want me to bring a new part with the number that you just typed in, or if I want to, you to change the part number of the item that's selected. So this is the way that we uh, pick up that, uh, that user intent. Select the line item, choose uh, item info, and I can edit any of the items information here. So I like to use this dialog just about for everything. So I go to edit the part number. I'm going to give this a new part number, CB100. I'm also going to come down here and, um, and edit my description to be a, something a little more meaning. Um, this is going to be my base rotating one, two, three. I'm going to save this. Okay, so we see that in our in our bill of material in OpenBOM, which is being rendered in, in Fusion, the uh, the chair base is now has a new part number, CB100, and it's got a new description, base rotating one, two, three. And I can do that for the rest of the items in that grid. And I can use all the editing features, copy, paste, etc. So I get my bomb looking pretty good with part numbers, names, and descriptions. And I close it, and then I'm going to use this button up here, update CAD properties from BOM. I'll be given the opportunity to choose which bomb I want to bring that information from. I only have one, so I'm going to pick that. And then I'll get a dialog that tells me about what's going to happen. And when I press continue, it's just that quick. We see that one component was updated. In our case, we only changed one, and we know that it was chair base. Let's take a look at the properties from chair base. Awesome. Now it has a new part number. I kept the same name, and I brought over description. So to summarize there, the way that we do this is we, um, we open up the bill of material using the locate button. We go to the item that we want to change and let's, we can pick another one here, you know, bottom support, for example. We use the item information flyout. We then we use the part number, if we want to change a part number and I'll give this a BSP-100 for a new part number and I'm just going to scroll down and type in the description. I'm going to call it bottom support 5. I'm going to save this. We see the new information is in the line in our bill material. Make all the changes that we need. Return up here. Bring in the changes from that bomb. Press continue. And we'll see that those new, those new values have come into our bottom support. There it is. That's cool. I'd love to hear from you at support at openbomb.com.